everyone my name is Pascaline and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much I spend in a month as a student living in Glasgow. I'll be listing these in descending order going for my most expensive cost to my least expensive cost. The greatest part of my expenses which takes about 66.8% of my monthly cost goes towards my rent. I live in an ensuite room in a private student accommodation with a shared kitchen and living area and pay £115 per week and that goes to £460 in a month. My rent is always inclusive which means I don't have to pay separately for utilities and it is advisable and preferable that if you're a student coming to UK to study or coming to Glasgow then you rent a flat or an apartment that is always inclusive so you don't have to pay separately for your utilities. One of my expenses, which takes about 11.87% of my monthly cost, goes towards food and groceries, and I spend an average of £20 per week for food and groceries, and in a month I spend an average of £80. Food stores like Lidl and Audi are really good if you are shopping on a budget because they have really affordable food items. Tesco and Sainsbury are much more in the middle, not too expensive and not very cheap. And then we have Max and Spencer's and several others on the much more expensive side. So there's Lidl, Audi, then there's Tesco, then there's Sainsbury, and then there's Max and Spencer's. But Lidl and Audi are really, really affordable and always make sure that you check the reduce section before buying the rest of your groceries because this will help you save cost on your grocery bill. Also, if you're a student, it is preferable and really cheap if you cook your meals yourself and only eat out when necessary. This way you save much more on your food costs and you can spend that money on something else. The next part of my expenses which takes about 8% of my monthly cost goes towards transportation. Usually I take the subway to go from where I live to the university and take the buses sometimes. If you are 21 and under you can travel for free across Glasgow and if you are 22 and above then you have to buy a bus ticket which is about £1.80 for a single ride and the subway is almost the same as like £1.75 or thereabouts and um, if you travel frequently using the bus or the subway and it's advisable that you get either the weekly pass or the monthly pass which will help you save more in the long run so in a week I spent £40 for the subway weekly pass and monthly I spent £54 for the monthly pass another tip to save on transportation when you do come here is to always be on the lookout for discounts during festivals or like events Christmas and Easter and really really and popular holidays recently I got a free bus ticket um, which I only used last week but this during the comedy festival but didn't use it until some days back so always be on the lookout for discounts during festivals and during popular holidays so the next part is utilities as I said earlier, I personally don't pay for utilities because my rent is always inclusive. But for the purpose of this video, in case you are in a flat or an apartment, that your rent is not always inclusive, you will have to pay for utilities. And this goes from an average of £35 to £50 per month. The next part of my expenses, which takes about 4.45% of my monthly cost, goes towards my care and maintenance products, and this includes toiletries, facial care products, body care products, hair care products, and I spend an average of £30 per month on these uh, products, and they are discounts at Boots and Superdrug where you can buy one and get one free. So instead of spending much more on like um, toiletries and your skincare products, you can buy one uh, and get one free or you buy three and get uh, one of them free or you get them at half price with just your super drug card. So always be on the lookout for um, discounts. If you are here in Glasgow or when you do get here, 
always shop with your student card most times they wouldn't write or say student discounts available but always ask them because they would usually have student discounts and you just need to prove that you're a student and that discount will be available to you two apps i recommend any student to have is uni days and student beans these two apps have amazing discounts available for students. All you need to do is register your student email and these are available to you. Anything you want to get, anything you want to buy or book, just Google the company or the store on the search page on these apps and then you see the discounts available to you. The next part of my expenses, which takes about 4.31% of my monthly cost, goes towards outings and this includes me eating out and having drinks at the pub, going to the cinema or over eat or just eat or just ordering in and what I do usually is that I set a budget limit and I say to myself that if I exceed this amount then I'm done for my outings or my eating out or my I'm going to the cinema for the month if I'm doing more of going to the cinema then I do less of ordering in and I do less of eating out and also vice versa so if I'm doing more of this I'm doing less of the other and I try not to exceed um, the budget but usually I spend an average of 28 pounds per month for any of my outings the next part of my expenses which takes about 2.31 percent of my monthly cost goes towards my gym membership so because i live in a privately owned student accommodation i live far away from the university i have to pay for my gym membership and my gym membership costs um, 15 pounds per month however if you are in a university owned accommodation then you can freely access the gym and finally my least expensive cost which takes about 1.9 percent of my monthly costs goes towards recurring costs and this includes um, Spotify, subscription, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Google Play Storage and several others and I spent £12.57 for these recurring costs. So in total what I spent in a month as a student living in Glasgow comes to £670.57. So this is just an average and some months I may go a bit higher, some months I may spend a bit lower. So this is really just an average and will largely depend on your accommodation because rents does take a huge chunk of your living expenses. So if you live in a much more expensive accommodation, this will be much more higher. And if you live in a less expensive one, this will be much more lower. But I hope that this video was helpful to you guys and I hope to see you soon. Bye.